How much of your day is wasted on tasks that don't feel like the best use of your time? Imagine turning a 20-hour data analysis project into a human task with AI, replicating your exact review and writing style. Hi friends, I'm Isin. Over my 13-year career as a qualified accountant at two big four firms, PwC and EY, and now full-time at a big tech, I have led transformation projects, including AI, which unlocked thousands of hours in productivity gains and significant cost reduction. So in this video, I will reveal four powerful AI hacks using ChatGPT and Claude AI that have accelerated my work and can do the same for you. Whether you're a working professional, business owner, or a student, these hacks will help you reclaim your time and a good night's sleep. Let's start with something we've all had to do at some point, and that is drowning in spreadsheets and raw data for data analysis. Whether it's for a college project, a client report, or a crucial business presentation, we all know how much time data analysis eats up. Studies show that 70% of the time is spent preparing data with only 30% spent actually analyzing it. From my own experience, this prep work should be fully automated, leaving human time purely focused on performing analysis and review of the data. And this is where Claude AI comes in. I've downloaded an example data set of US shopping trends with about 4,000 rows worth of data. And here is what I asked Claude AI to do. And we'll use a prompt asking it to uncover the revenue trends, monthly and year on year patterns, plus seasonal spikes, store performance, top and bottom performing stores by location. Also look at customer segmentation in terms of demographic groups and purchasing behaviors, and then present the results in an interactive dashboard with appropriate charts and styles. I'm gonna hit enter and we'll see what Claude does. Okay, so Claude has gone ahead and it's actually built this interactive chart. So it gives you, if you go on a chart, it gives you the revenue number. It's saying Montana is the highest location by revenue. And then Nebraska follows in at number 10. If we go down, it's actually saying seasonal revenue distribution. So it's kind of quite evenly distributed, but winter, spring, summer, fall, it, we can sort of see that. And then it's got revenue here by category. So clothing seems to be the biggest uh, type of category for shopping. And then accessories are number two and looks like outerwear is quite seasonal in the winter is at the lower end. And if I go in the customer insight section, uh, I can see revenue by age group. So it looks like people who are spending a lot of money are beyond the 50. And it also shows the average purchase amount by frequency whether that's fortnightly, every three months, how often are purchases being made. You can actually publish this uh, interactive chart and once you hit publish, it will basically create a website link. Uh, Claude calls them artifacts. And you can share that link with your team members to look at the data. You can use this process to build dashboards for sales, track cost trends, Analyze sentiment on social media like YouTube comments or Twitter comments, or even present research data with almost zero manual effort. Now, while this is quite impressive, uh, but data analysis is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to productivity gains. The next hack is all about unlocking big gains with small minute changes. Last year, a member of my team was spending 60 hours each month on a manual process and it was killing his motivation. When we sat down together to analyze why and how each step was being done, we realized that just two small tweaks could cut his workload in half. This is a perfect example of low hanging fruit, small obvious inefficiencies that we often overlook because we are just so used to doing things a certain way. And it's not uncommon. Research shows that up to 44% of wasted time comes from inefficient business processes. So here is how to identify and fix these inefficiencies with AI. I'll start by uploading a mock invoicing process for a business. And for this purpose, I'm going to use ChatGPT, which in my experience does a better job at reviewing processes and workflows. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to act as an accountant with 20 years of experience in process optimization, analyze the following workflow and identify opportunities to streamline it. Categorize suggestions into quick wins, which is low hanging fruit and longer term improvements include specific AI tools for the quick wins. And then we'll remove this section because I have attached the process. And let's hit enter. It's sort of gone through that and saying you can use tools like Google Sheets or Excel to design templates and reuse them over and over. You could automate calculations. 
Uh, you could standardize the numbering of the invoices and then it talks about approval process, distribution, and then in the long term, it's talking about using Zero or SAP to centralize the handling and automated workflows and using OCR tools like Adobe Scan or Find Reader to reduce manual entry errors. Uh, OCR is a very interesting point. We'll cover it actually later in the video, but this is actually really good. And I speak as a qualified accountant who spent over 13 years in the field. These are really good suggestions and you could take this prompt and tailor it for any use case and get suggestions to optimize your workflow. This reminds me of what Warren Buffett once said that the difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no to almost everything. By using AI for process optimization, you can say no to time wasting tasks while accomplishing more. And talking about improvements, how often have you had an amazing idea, a new app, a tool, or even an internal process improvement but it didn't move forward because building it felt too complicated or you couldn't communicate your vision by just describing it. Let's say you want to build a basic application for productivity. You can ask Claude to create a fully functional daily focus planner app web application which runs in the browser with no additional work required. The app helps users set three priorities for the day, tracks completed tasks and offers motivational quotes when goals are completed completed or achieved, includes a basic time tracker to identify productivity peaks, and uses a modern UI with orange color for energy in combination with black and warm white. Let's hit enter and see what it does. And there you go. You have a web application and it's actually taken the design queue I asked it to follow. And what you can do is you can enter your priorities here. So let's say a priority would be to complete project documentation. And then you could say start, start tracking. So there you go. There is a time tracker as well, which says, you know, at what time we started working on it. And then uh, let's say what it does. If I hit enter, it brings up a code. Success is not final and failure is whatever it was. It just disappeared too quickly. And then if you click stop tracking, it actually records how long we spent. Let's say if we click again. Okay, that's brilliant. So it's a very simple focus planner app. It only allows you to add three priorities because that's intentional. You should not have more than three priorities on a particular day. You can actually track how much time you spend. And traditionally this would take ages to build, but we just took a couple of minutes and you could actually publish this on a website by just injecting this code. Now a pro tip, you can actually upload screenshots of any app you like and ask Claude AI to create a custom version inspired by the screenshot you upload. Once satisfied, you can again publish your prototype as a shareable link using the artifacts functionality, which we covered in the previous chapter. The practical applications of this functionality are almost limitless. Students can build basic study tools or organize lecture notes into an interactive quiz, which makes the learning more fun. Entrepreneurs can prototype the user interface for new products and refine their vision. Working professionals can create mock prototypes for internal solutions and get buy-in from everyone because you can clearly communicate your vision because you are able to visually show people what your idea is, all without writing a single line of code. But as handy as building prototypes or user interfaces can be, most of us still spend a chunk of time extracting data from documents, charts, invoices, contracts, basically anywhere where important information is hiding. That's where Claude's Heiku or Haiku model can be quite handy for mining relevant data from large sources. It's one of the fastest vision capable models in the world and can read and transcribe scan documents, even the messy ones using optical recognition technology. Let's say you're a small business owner and you just received 25 invoices from different suppliers. So first I'll go on Claude Heiku. And then I will go into the more model section and then choose Claude 3.5 Heiku. That's the faster model for daily task and actually the one with the most vision capabilities. I will then go ahead and upload 10 invoices and I'll ask it to extract all the invoicing data into a CSV file. Okay, so the CSV file seems ready if I just download the file. And then once it's downloaded, it will open up into this text file, which you can then take into Excel. I have numbers on my Mac, so I'm just going to use that. I will just take a blank template. So if I go here 
and click paste there you go uh, Claude Heku has basically extracted order ID custom ID order dates contract name address city phone product ID which seems to be the unique identifier here all of this data uh, really 34 rows and it's columns up until column P and it did that in a couple of minutes what Claude just did is effectively what a bookkeeper, which is someone who takes physical data and punches it into financial systems would have taken a couple of hours. It just did that in one or two minutes. And those are the kind of tasks or jobs which are at high risk with more capable tools coming up. Now this capability has a lot of use cases. Professionals can extract financial data instantly. Businesses can analyze contracts in minutes and extract all the information from those contracts into nice templates by specifying a format. And students can summarize and organize your hard copy notes into digital format quite easily. Now, everything we just cover is great for extracting specific information from known data sources. But what if your data and research is scattered across YouTube videos, websites, PDFs, texts, audio file recordings, or even files on Google Drive. And you want one AI to gather everything, organize it, and serve up the exact knowledge and information you need. That's where Notebook LM from Google comes in and has permanently changed how knowledge is managed and monetized. You might like this video where I break down Notebook LM's top features and two ways it can make you money in 2025.